Hey, what's up? I'm A Dove from DX Daily Podcast, and you gotta check this out. So, Drake has served his fake Drake lookalike with a cease and desist notice, forcing him to change his name. Izzy Drake, who has shot to social media fame over the last year by impersonating the Toronto rapper, took to Instagram on Monday, October 24th, to share a legal warning he received from Drizzy's OVO sound label. The letter was sent on Thursday, October 20th, and demanded Izzy stop using Drake's name, likeness, and trademarks, which they claimed were damaging and defamatory to the OVO brand. Notice to cease and desist, Dear Izzy Drake, this letter serves as a notice of your unauthorized use of the trademark OVO to promote your brand and likeness, as well as your unauthorized fabrication of media, which is per se damaging and defamatory to our brand. Your conducted actions are unwarranted, unwelcome, and unacceptable. In addition, this shall serve as a pre-suit letter demanding that you provide us written assurance within seven days that you will cease and desist from making any further factually untrue statements involving OVO Sound and or Drake, and that you will no longer fabricate media that portrays the aforementioned trademarks. Thank you for your cooperation. Despite being issued with the cease and desist, there were no hard feelings on fake Drake's part as he changed his name to Izzy Famous and wished the real Drake, who turned 36 on Monday, a happy birthday. Happy birthday to the greatest artist in history and my biggest inspiration. I got this cease and desist letter from OVO a couple days ago and as a respectful B-Day gift to Champagne Poppy, I changed my name from Izzy Drake to Izzy Famous. More life my OVO brother at Prem, at Baca Not Nice, at TV Gucci. The cease and desist notice comes after Izzy Drake claimed Drake threatened to slap him while they were both in Miami earlier this year. So like I said, I pulled up to Drake's hotel room with my management and it wasn't, it was, let's just say it wasn't very inviting. So I ended up texting him, telling him about the fight and um, he said that he's gonna, he's gonna pull up and slap me for free. Before that, however, Izzy Drake claimed a mutual gambler friend told him that Drake wasn't bothered by his lucrative lookalike hustle, which was allowing him to earn as much as $5,000 a night. He got in contact with Drake and Drake was just like, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't affect me, you know, like, let the guy get his bag, it's not affecting me, like, right. just like, try not to like, you know, if it's gonna like, if you think it's gonna go wrong, like something, like if you're posting him on, on, on your story and everything, like, just like, you know, like keep the peace. You know, like uh, he didn't really give a fuck. You know, that was, right? That was the whole thing. About it was it. never. It was never your goal to like start a problem or. Yeah, like I'm just being humble. You know, I'm just doing my thing. Right. I got kids. I'm doing a shit for my family. You know. And I'm guessing Drake liked his birthday gift from Izzy Famous because he liked the post of him saying that he changed his name. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.